we hear that we are God's beloved, uh, that voice from heaven, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. Those words were spoken before Jesus had done anything. He had not entered into ministry. He had simply done the obedient thing and submitted to the waters of baptism. And he was pronounced beloved by God. And I think as pastors, as people involved in ministry, vocational ministry, we need to be reminded that God, that we're God's beloved before we do a thing. And that our belovedness, our worth, isn't tied to our abilities to accomplish things. And I hope that's what we can hear because this is a season that's going, that demands the best of us. And in order for that to happen, we need to be reminded whose we are and to whom we belong. And so I'm hoping that this time of listening can really reconnect us to God first, to our own souls, to others in a sense of curiosity and kindness. And what is God up to in the world? What is going on in our souls? What are other people saying? And how can I receive them? And what they're saying in a kind and Christ-like way.